Welcome to Camper Van Conversion in Bite Sized Chunks. If you happen to have come across this page through some random link, you might want to click on the link in the top right hand corner to take you back to the introduction to tell you a little bit more about these videos and how you can get the best out of them. So I think uh, when I was uh, talking about the cameras I put in right at the very beginning, um, I mentioned how rubbish I am at parking. And so yeah, it's okay getting cameras to help me go backwards when I'm going forwards and bumping into that uh, trolley in the car park. So I thought I need some parking sensors and what I did is I got a kit off of eBay. Here we go, we'll look at that in a minute. You can pick these kits up for about uh, 10, 12 pound. I actually got that for a five, a brand new, never been used. I think the guy took one look at it and thought, mm, maybe not. But um, see, when I bought, uh, when, I, when, I, when I had my car, I put them in the car, I paid some guy about 180 quid to come and fit that kit. Uh, but of course this is the van, do it yourself. Uh, for that sort of money, it's worth a go, but how easy it will be the to do, to fit, we'll see in the video diary in a minute. But let's uh, look in the box, see what we've got. Okay, let's open the box. Right, so we've got instructions, yeah, but that'd be pretty rubbish. Oh, pictures, I like pictures, that's fine. Okay, so we've got the sensors, we've got four of those. You get a hole saw too, so you drill the into your bumper, the right size hole, pretty good. Uh, those sensors plug into this transmitter thing which then plugs into a power supply and that's got a little wireless transmitter in there which sends signal to the display and that uh, will beep as you get closer and tell you how far away you are from your obstruction and it also will indicate whether the obstruction is on the left or right hand side so that's the kit let's have a look at the uh, video blog see how easy it was to fit Okay, so drilling the holes first, I marked the holes off. The instructions will tell you where you, how you need to do the distance off. Now watch that drill. Here we go, and... Bang! I've hit something. <laughs> and that is where I found I had a problem, and then I'm finding it as I put my hand in. The basic problem is, on my van, uh, there's a metal, a strong structural bumper behind that uh, plastic decorative bumper, and it's so close um, there wasn't actually enough depth actually to sight the parking sensors fully and you'll see that in a minute. Now it doesn't matter, there's always a workaround with these things. It was a little bit uh, tacky but you see I'm trying to push that sensor in there as far as I can and it won't go all the way in. You'll see that in a minute. Essentially what I did is, first of all I painted the, those silver sensors black to match the bumper. Then I put a little bit of black silicon around to, to seal it off and to jam it in solidly so it's not going to move. And it won't move because it's, it's, that hole saw is designed so it's a, a snug fit in. But there you go, so now you've got to feed the wires up into uh, the engine compartment where you're going to sight your transmitter. There's my favourite tool, coat hanger with a hook on it, feeding wires up. And um, you'll see in a minute, I've put that uh, transmitter into the engine compartment. I did do some tests to make sure that it would transmit through the bulkhead to reach the receiver, which is in the driver's cab. Uh, and it did, so the only wires I had to pass through, I could keep the transmitter in the engine compartment, the only wires I needed to pass through was a power cable wire. And I just squeezed that through uh, a, a gland. Right, okay, here we go. That's the result. That's as far as I could get in those sensor which is a bit of a shame really. Um, didn't expect that, I should have looked out for it, but mind you, there's not a lot I could have done. But I wanted to show you that because I did promise warts and all on this video diary. So painted it up and put some black, uh, with some black enamel paint, put some black silicon round. Doesn't look too clear in that picture, does it? I think the sun was in a funny angle there. So there's the transmitter, I've just, I've just uh, attached it to uh, a, a few, the fuse box. Um, that uh, wire, are, the red wire on the top right is the single wire that goes into the cab to uh, get power from and you can see I've marked up the channels there. Uh, okay so there's the uh, power on off switch on uh, an in, a spare slot for a switch um, locator. You need a switch, on oh, no, I need a switch because this was essentially designed to be a rear view cameras which was fired up by power coming from the reversing light. So here's the things in action then. Blue flashing lights, I've turned the switch on so it gives me power to the sensor, sends power to the transmitter in the engine cab. And there's me walking in front of the sensors to simulate it, 1.1 meters. Uh, here we go, yep, yeah, 1.1, and walking back and across, out of range, 0.6, not very good. Uh, demonstration we can see it working by the way the the red light flashing left and right on the left and right is to say the obstruction is mainly to the left or to the right 
So there you go, it's me fitting the parking sensor of the van. A little trouble with that bumper, but um, overall, not a bad job, quite easy to do, and uh, well, worth it in my mind. Parking sensors, again, nothing to be said about them, except for I did have one email saying, if you need parking sensors, you should be allowed on the road. Oh, dearie me.